That orb you carry, Mavel. Where did you obtain it? It is different from any weapon or symbology I've ever seen. Oh, this? You are neither Felpool nor Highlander, and I cannot see you as a lycanthrope either. I, uh... Oh, that stuff doesn't really matter so much, does it? What good does it do for us to know where she came from? That's what I think. Besides, whatever power she has, isn't it all the better for us that she's on our side instead of the enemy's? I apologize. I was merely curious. No, I'm not offended or anything. Pardon me if this is too personal a question, Roddick, but what does the path of a swordsman mean to you? What is it that drives you to keep swinging your sword? When I first started, I think I just wanted to be like my father. And when my father died, I kept it up because I didn't want to let my mother down. Gradually, I wanted to become stronger for the sake of everyone around me. The desire to grow stronger is an important thing. It's what drives you to refine and improve your skills. But what do you think you'll do once you reach the highest level possible? The path never really ends like that, does it? A never-ending path? If you keep thinking you're only halfway there, then that means there will always be room for improvement. So, what does strength mean to you? It's what I need to stay on the right path. I want it to become the bond that keeps me disciplined. If those bonds are weakened and my heart is corrupted, then my swordsmanship is nothing more than a form of violence. I believe that if you do not keep your heart and soul on the correct path, then you have no right to bear a sword. Hmm. When enough of them come together, even drops of water can move mountains. Strength is not merely power, but also the compass that guides that power. Mind over matter, as they say. Keep your head focused on the correct path. The tree of power cannot grow unless it is firmly rooted in your heart. Just try not to be as hard on others as you are on yourself, all right? It'll turn you into a cranky old man like me.
Got any identification? This emblem work for you? Oh, a Van Kingdom emblem. That works for me, yeah. You may pass. Don't let up! I hope we can do this! Ha! 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 Boom! Win! It huh? takes so it's much over? to survive in this world. I can feel the power flowing! Whoa! Nice! Don't let up! I must protect all of us! Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. No huh? victory is better than an easy victory. Paper airplane? There's something written on it. What's it say? Ah, uh, Roddick, wait! What's he in a huff about? What is 
you think you're doing? Huh? What? It's no big deal. It is too a big deal. Uh, don't be stupid. Why are you writing letters you know no one's gonna read? None of your business. Dear Roddick, It's me, Millie. I never thought I'd be writing you a letter, given that I've hardly ever left your side before. But I don't even know where you are. So this is all I can do right now. I hope you made it to the past, okay? I don't know how many days it's been by now. I want to see you. I just pray it'll be soon. I miss you. You crying, Millie? Oh, this is horrible. I'm never like this, ever. None of this would be happening if it weren't for him. Roddick, I hate you! Millie! Thank you so much for taking care of me, ma'am. Oh, you don't need to thank me. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was like having my own daughter here. Oh, Judy. Come on, Lucian. Say goodbye to our guest. I don't know what to do with this kid sometimes. Ah, uh, sorry, Millie. Don't think twice. It's all right. I'd better get going. Hang in there, Lucien. Wait! Millie, are you really going? Yeah, I'm sorry. No! Please don't go, Millie! I... I... Don't cry, Lucien. Come on, where's the happy little Lucien I know? Cheer up, Lucian. You're a big boy now. You should be sending her off with a big smile. I know. Good luck, Millie. Come back sometime, all right? Of course I will. We'll play together again then, okay? Bye-bye. See you. I sure am glad to see you in good spirits, Millie. You too, Ronix. Sounds like a lot's been going on while I was gone, huh? Sure has. We're finally within arm's reach of Asmodeus. That we are. Asmodeus is the host of the petrification virus. If we can collect a blood sample from him, we ought to be able to make the medicine we need. Well, in that case, we'd better go see those kings as quickly as we can. Shall we head for the castle, then? We wish for an audience with the king. That's the Ban Kingdom emblem. One moment, please. Please, right this way. So, the time has come for an emblem bearer to appear before me, has it? Minister? Take the guards out of the room. Yes, my lord. My royal family has been charged with the location of the demon world entrance. 
There is a deserted island just southwest of Silverland where we are standing now. According to my knowledge, the entrance to the demon world can be found on that island. Using the Eye of Truth there will open the door to the demon world. A deserted island? Quite so. I will grant you full permission to freely use our port for this purpose. That will allow you convenient passage to both the Muon and Australian kingdoms. Of course, I will also instruct the ships to open a route to the island I've discussed with you. Feel free to make the voyage whenever you are ready. And one more thing. I want you to take this. This emblem is evidence that you know the truth, which has been passed down amongst those in Silverland. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you very much, Your Highness. A kitty cat! Hey, Roddick, let's give it a name. How about Parichi, then? Parichi? Oh, I think it likes it. We'll call it Parichi. the girl from the Velkan cave. Why'd you run off on us like that? I'm not telling. I work all by myself. I got only one friend, that. This? You mean this ocarina? Give it back! Wow! 
There, there, stop crying. You just haven't had the chance to meet any friends yet, that's all. What about us? I'm sure we'd make good friends. My name's Roddick. Glad to see you again. And I'm Millie. Let's be friends, okay? What is it? What's going on? What is it? What's going on? What's happening? See? Look at all these people. All you have to do is just try and get to know them. It's really just that easy. Come on, why don't you join us? <laughs> I'm crying, but it feels different. Mm. Well, never felt this way before. Well, she's certainly taken a shine to you. Radic is nice to me. Oh, I love him. Oh, come on. You don't have to go around like that. Parichi, could you, uh, would you mind getting off of me? It's kind of hard to walk like this. Aww. You can grab onto my cape if you like. Yes, yes, thank you. I guess that's just the way Parichi is. Captain, why are you staring at them like that? Feeling jealous? Huh? Oh, no, I wa I wasn't staring. Come on, come on, we better get going. Want to get left behind, right? 